All right, well, we are keeping an eye on the radar, which is nice and quiet. No rain. We aren't expecting it either. As you can see, a clean sweep. All that you're seeing is just ground clutter that gets picked up uh, this time of year with our uh, radar site. But again, it'll stay nice and dry. We've had some issues with visibility and fog. 10 miles of visibility, perfection. Seven miles, still ideal, but anything below that, we have issues. So six miles in Corinth, a little better, as well as six in Jackson, two in Jonesboro, three in Clarksdale, five in Tunica. Here's the rule for any time you come across fog, you have to keep your regular low beams on because if you put your high beams on, it reflects the light back off of the fog and actually makes it the fog brighter and harder to see through. So keep your low beams on and use caution. Also, know that there's probably frost on your windshield because there was on mine. Uh, it is absolutely bitter outside, especially if you're living in our eastern counties. 20 degrees is what it feels like right now in Jackson, 28 in Corinth, 30 in Memphis, 24 in Oxford, 32 in Wynn. You can see we're kind of all over the place, but all of us are really cold. So uh, make sure you're prepared for that. Uh, it will get better. It's just uh, going to take us a few hours once the sun really gets up and going. And these winds really start to impact us as well. They uh, don't look too exciting right now, but they're coming in from the south, and that's what's important because we're going to see our temperatures climbing because we have a little warmth working in our favor. We're going to see that around 5, 10 miles an hour, uh, so it may be a little breezy at times. It may make it a little chilly at times, but again, it's uh, going to make things feel a lot better overall. So here's where we're at around 9 o'clock, 40 degrees, and these are our actual temperatures, not our wind chill. So as we head through the afternoon, we're going to see our temperatures getting into the 50s, mid 50s, and then dropping once the sun sets, of course, back to cooler numbers, the 40s and eventually the 30s. But we are right where we should be average wise. Uh, we should be within three uh, degrees of it and we are on both fronts. So 56 for our high, 36 for our average low, nowhere near uh, the record. I would take that record high. I would, you couldn't pay me for that record low. All right, as far as our rain, again, no rain, but just early sunset, 448. So here's our highs around the area. 56 in Memphis, a little bit cooler to the east, 53 from Dyersburg to Corinth. Most of us though around the 56 mark up to 59 in Clarksdale. So we are feeling more comfortable and we will be cold tonight, but not as bad. We may be near freezing like Corinth and Tunica, so we may feel below average, uh, below, excuse me, below freezing, but uh, for the most part, we're in a better pattern. We're getting a little warmer day by day, at least for a few days anyway. So here's our seven day forecast. After today, we're warming up. We're in the low 60s tomorrow. By the end of the week, we are in the mid and upper 60s. Hey, that sounds awesome, except for the fact that a cold front's coming through. But right now we aren't talking about storms, we're talking about showers, so that's good. It'll be later Friday that brings us the rain. 40 and then overnight a 70% chance that turns to a 60% chance into Saturday. So not looking too good for Friday night into Saturday. Uh, hopefully you didn't really have any big plans anyway, because you shouldn't so let's head into the uh, weekend, uh, into the weekend, into next week. Unfortunately, very cold. So we're back into the same pattern 